Uh, we played another game that is also a big hit, but a new version of an old classic, some would say, called Modern Art. Mm -hmm. This is uh, designed by Reiner Knizia. This is the n new edition. It has all brand new artwork and components, but I'm pretty sure the gameplay, for the most part, has stayed identical to that original version. Uh, essentially, it's a bidding game. You're, everybody represents a museum, and every turn, you are actually going to put out a painting from your own hand, and depending on what the symbol is, that determines what type of auction it is. So it could be uh, just a regular, everybody's shouting out what their, their price and the highest bid wins, or it could be a closed auction where everyone puts their money in their hand and reveals their at the same time. Uh, it could possibly be Oh, everybody get, yeah, just gets one bid, and you just go around in order. Uh, there's a couple others in there. So that it really, it's, it's like every auction game you've ever played kind of mixed into one. There's also this interesting thing where there are five different colors of artworks. Each one is a different artist. And whoever sold the was most... Four. Was it five? Uh, no, it's, it's five. It's five. Okay, it's four or five. Because there's orange, yellow, green, blue, red. You got it. The... Whoever sold the most, not who, whichever person, whichever color was bought the most during that round or auctioned off and therefore bought, uh, becomes the most popular and is now going to be worth more money at the next round. So that r every game, you're going to be changing which cards you're trying to go for and your strategy of when you want to bid or don't want to bid. Because you, if green is the most popular, you might want a bunch of green, but maybe someone else has some green, so you want to try to put blue further up to stop them a little bit. That's basically how the game works. Um, we, we like bidding games. This is a very pure bidding game, and it's, I thought it was very enjoyable. Well, uh, comparing it to other bidding games, I actually like it a little bit more because usually it's the same kind of bid. But with this, yeah. there's a lot more thinking of like, all right, uh, all right, blues won last round with the popularity, and right now Jonathan already has a blue. Now I could play this blue card and try to win it, or I can take this yellow card, which allows me to play another yellow card with it, so that's a double yellow, which means yellow is more likely to win the popular round for this round. So there's a lot more thinking because of the different bidding system and once seeing what people bought and stuff. So yeah, once you get to the later rounds, you're really you you can think things can change where oh man, reds are the best. You no, know, like <laughs> green. I remember ours. The first two rounds, green didn't win anything. I don't remember which color referred to which. Yeah, no, I don't. But then the second, the fourth and fifth round, because of that, people were like, oh, I can buy greens on cheap. <laughs> right. And then all of a sudden, green just rose up in popularity. <laughs> yeah, so that's that's a good back and forth mechanic that they have. It's kind of built into it. Uh, the art is really fun. You could, if you really want to, you could just be like, "Oh, I'm just going to go for the art that I like the most and, <laughs> and bid that way." It might not help you win, but I don't know. It'd be fun. And it, other than it did take like a, a couple rounds for everyone to kind of wrap their heads around that what we just mentioned, that color mechanic and the, how how the money was laid out. But once you do. It's very, it's very simple. If you've ever yeah. played it, even if you haven't played a bidding game, if you understand what an auction is, <laughs> you can no, I could teach this. To if people. you like bidding games, is definitely one you should pick up because I really do think the, the style of how the points work and how there are actually different kinds of bids yeah. really brings a lot of interesting choice to the table. Yeah, I think I tend to prefer a bidding game when it is usually part of a larger game, like Encyclades or Coliseum, as opposed to strictly just bidding. But I think because of what you said, how there's all the different types of auctions, it gave it enough variety to stand on its own and not just be a little game. Uh, so that's modern art. A lot of fun. If you enjoyed this video, it was just a snippet of our full-length podcast, which you can find on our YouTube channel every week. So please go ahead, like, and subscribe for more board game-related content coming at you in the future. And don't forget to check out RollForCrate.com, where we actually sell a lot of the games we talked about, as well as post news and all our other videos. Until then, I'm Will Keeler. I'm Jonathan Estes, and this is Roll for Crit.